We head to Fairfax County for this next story where tonight a man accused of attacking two women two nights in a row has been arrested. Yeah, the Fairfax County Police Department and the chief called 24 year old Kevin Lopez Alton a monster and a predator. In one of the cases, he's accused of sexually assaulting a business owner for several hours. Our Matthew Torres is live at Heritage Center in Annandale, where that suspect was arrested. At Matthew, the details about this case are just horrific, and you're learning more. That's right. Police are describing these cases as heinous and brutal. It is here where police arrested that suspect last Friday. They knew to come out here because apparently the suspect is known to hang around at shopping centers. Tonight he is in jail without bond, facing 12 charges, including rape, abduction and strangulation. He is evil personified. He's brutal in his attacks on on women. Fairfax County Chief Kevin Davis is never one to mince words especially after announcing a suspect's arrest in what he describes as inhumane cases of sexual assault. These two acts were so brazen, so bold, so daring um, that, that it would be hard for me to believe that he hasn't struck before. 24 year old Kevin Lopez Altan is accused of attacking two women on different days last week. One was at a massage therapy center in Annandale Wednesday. The business owner opened the door to explain that the business was closed, but the offender pushed his way inside and held the victim captive inside her own business for several hours. The suspect sexually assaulted the victim repeatedly and threatened to kill her. Chief Davis says this would last for up to eight hours until the victim escaped when the suspect was apparently distracted. The following night, police at Northern Virginia Community College say Lopez Altan sexually assaulted a 20 year old student who fought him off. According to investigators, not only did they find Lopez Altan's fingerprints at the crime scene, but a campus officer identified the suspect based on similar tattoos and mannerisms. When he was walking around, he had his fingers moving in a motion like this at all times. It's appalling. It's it's just freaking appalling. It's pretty terrifying. I can't I can't imagine they're going to feel safe there tonight as disturbing details alarm people who live nearby. Chief Lopez Davis Altan is crediting the two victims for sharing their experience. We believe he absolutely positively would have struck again. And police say that he has not been charged with sexual assault before, but a quick look at the criminal record shows that there have been multiple arrests for assault on family members and law enforcement. Chief Kevin Davis says that same campus officer who helped identify the suspect used to be a sheriff's deputy in Fairfax County and recognized the suspect during his time there. That's the latest here in Annandale. I'm Matthew Torres, WUSA 9. Like the people you interviewed said, this is certainly terrifying, and we can only think of those uh, multiple victims in this case tonight. Matthew, thank you.